Hello Pisces, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly reading for the week of 9 18 through 9 25 2017. The cards I am using are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish, and I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. If you want a personal reading, Check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, let's get this show on the road. All right, so what's going on for Pisces, Pisces, Pisces? What's going on for Pisces for the week of 9, 18 through 9, 25, 2017? Pisces love reading. Pisces love reading. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces love reading. 9, 18 through 9, 25. 2017. All right. Okay. It looks like something is not looking too good in love for you guys. Or maybe somebody just not looking for you in love. But we'll see. All right. So, just from what I'm seeing here, it seems like somebody is. I'm just feeling like not looking for love. Somebody is looking for some kind of in, internal um, strengthening. Soul cleansing. Mm, okay. So it seems like somebody moved out or moved away from somebody and now they're trying to clean their, clean their self. Mentally. Yeah, somebody moved out. Or maybe somebody cleansed themselves and, and moved out. All right, let's go. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Mm. Okay, so I'm feeling like so, some of you, uh, I think it was a realization that something wasn't going the way that you wanted it to go. And I feel like somebody found inner strength and moved away. Or told somebody to get out or move. But um, this person, you're still, you're attracted to the person. You're attracted to the person that you told to get away or this person is attracted to you. All right, so whatever this situation has been going on for a long time, for more than three or six months. So basically more than six months. Okay. Uh, but it seems like you might have knew that this was going to happen like this. Wow. Okay, so I still don't see. All right, let's... um. Deviation. Let's see what this is. This future fate card. What's what's this future fate card? Like what stopped them? What stopped them from wanting this relationship? What's going on for the Pisces for 9, 18 through 9, 25, 2017? What is this deviation reversed about? Wow. Uh I, it's making me feel like whatever it is you guys have, keep having second thoughts about it, but it's like keep going. Don't stop. Don't go back. It's not going to change whatever it is. What? Okay. Letting go. So whatever you let go, I'm going to pull one more card to see if it actually tell us. If not, hopefully come out in the Cleo cards. But it seems like you saw something going wrong in the relationship. And you like, this ain't going to work. I got to find some kind of mental strength. Either you left or you put somebody out that you're attracted to. And they're attracted to you. But this person you was dealing with for a long time. But you knew something. So it's crazy. Hopefully we get the card right here. To see what you know. What you knew. And why were you letting go. Okay, so somebody might have had some honesty issues. Maybe somebody told you about something. But let's see what's this honesty this visions and this adrift about for the Pisces. What's going on? Okay, so somebody might have been using you. I mean, that's what I feel. I mean, that's what it is. Somebody was using you. You seen it. You know, you're like, I don't deserve this. And you left, okay? Okay, so um, 
this makes me feel like yeah you're not over it this person is is going to be your baggage i'm feeling real strong about it i'm even feeling like i don't know i'm feeling like like choky right now like I don't know, but I know this is something that you really didn't want to do, but you felt like you had to do it because you don't feel like this person wants you for you. You feel like they they want you for things, okay? All right, Cleo. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you definitely left somebody. The um, magician and the uh, world card were upright, so that's basically like you... You're done with this situation. I just saw the magician again and keep popping out. But I feel like it might have been some kind of manipulation going on as well. All right, what's going on for the Pisces, Pisces, Pisces? 9, 18 through 9, 25, 2017, Pisces. 9, 18 through 9, 25, 2017. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. What's going on with the Pisces? Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Jeez. I should have looked at that card. Apparently it wanted to come out, but it'll come out if it's yours. Mm. Some kind of bad judgment happened. Some of you feel like you was done wrong. Something in a situation you stopped fighting for it in the past. You didn't feel like it was worth it anymore. Like, what am I fighting for here? Okay, yeah, so you're like, what am I fighting for? And then you like start coming out of your head about it. Like I'm not, I'm not fighting for something because I'm I'm continuously being done wrong. Alright, I usually stop here, but I'm gonna do one more. And then I'm gonna read them. What's going on for Pisces, Pisces, Pisces? Mm. Okay. Okay, what is this Pisces waiting on? Because right here is like, I'm done fighting. And here is like, I'm coming out of my head. So, let's see what you're waiting on. Mm. So, you might be just waiting for somebody who got their stuff together to come around. Or you just, um, you might be waiting for it. Aries, stop it. Sorry. Alright, so let's see. Or maybe you could possibly wait for somebody who doesn't want money. Alright, let's see. Or material things from you somebody that can hold you up as well as them okay so we got the judgment card here all right and the judgment card is reversed it says um, sometimes there is legal judgments or sentencing in a final decision so it's like somebody's choice has been made like this is what's gonna happen and that's it all right, so we got the nine of staffs reversed. It says, the result product of lack of planning movement will be painful and draining uh, with little or no rest. So, yeah, that's this. You know, you still care about this person, but it's going to be hard. You're going you're gonna to have to move on. It's going to be hard, you know, but you got to go because you're trying to find somebody who's better for you. All right, we got the Nine of Swords reversed. All right, it says, a very dis distinctive indication of past problems with law enforcement, uh, prison, and necessary caution. Ooh. So this makes me feel like somebody, like, got in trouble with the law in the past, and now it's starting to catch up with them. And then when I go here, it's like, Somebody is waiting for them to come knock on their door and, and pick them up. Waiting for law enforcement. All right, so the hangman. Hangman, hangman. Reverse irresponsibility, low self-esteem, and impatience. Sorry, that's not reverse. So, so it says, a time of change. Remove yourself from a situation and watch. You will see the answer. Uh, you may not know what to choose. Allow yourself time to make the decision. Determine if the situation is uh, positive or negative. I don't know why I got the feeling like uh, you may have to tell on somebody. 
like should I tell like what's the repercussions if I tell or if I don't tell kind of thing all right so we have the Emperor and the Emperor is right up and it says a person who is not afraid to speak their mind has strong beliefs does not uh, change their mind easily promotion at work mm -mm. and the time for the uh, success and achievement a great chance to make money in a time of power. This makes me feel like somebody's getting ready to tell to get out of something. All right? Ugh. And it may be have to do with money. Money, money. Mm. So I'm feeling like if somebody don't pay somebody, they're going to tell on them. So it look like extortion again. Like, all oh, this extortion going on. What's going on? All right, so what we got here. The Knight of Coins, progress blocked, uneasy movement, and boredom. So it seems like somebody might be waiting for some kind of payment, but somebody's not going to pay them, and somebody's going to tell. So that's not love. I don't think so. So if, this could be a relationship or this could be a friendship, but that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Other than that, have a great weekend. Week. Sorry.